Okay, so this this is part four of our tutorial, and uh, uh, let's start more adding more details here. And uh, you can see this area here needs to be sharp here. Uh, if you can, yeah, this area here uh, needs to be sharp, so we can go and switch off the subdivisions. And uh, I think we control E bevel weight. Uh, we can remove this bevel weight here. And let's see what happens. This is what we get. I don't know if that's it. No, actually, this is not the loop, so we need to clear the bevel weight for this. Control E, then clear. So it's this here, ah, this loop here. Ah, but uh, before we go to that, I think we can add this ring here. Or should we add this front thing here? Let me see, is it? Okay, so we need to add this front facing thing. And uh, for that, we can first apply the mirror modifier. And uh, so we can add it here. You can use a Boolean modifier if you want, but uh, I think that is overkill for now. I think it's this edge loop here. So if you, we can bevel this edge loop. So sh control shift B and then add th uh, more loops by using your middle mouse wheel. And uh, go to the bevel settings and uh, change the profile so that it looks like a sphere. Uh, something around there, no, no, around there. And now we can join these to remove uh, those up end guns. Now, if we select, you can also just select that ring and hold down control and hold down Shift Alt S uh, to make sure that uh, it's an actual sphere. Then we need to extrude this in the x direction, in the y direction. Make sure it's flat there. So I think it's a little bit above where we, where it should be. So let's see before we can undo this and uh, maybe move this down. Like this. Just make sure that it's following uh, the curve in our object and uh, I guess we can just join these like this let me first turn off this subdivision like we can extrude this in the y direction it doesn't have to match this perfectly because remember again uh, this image uh, the reference image we're using has perspective perspective distortion so I need to scale this in the x and uh, z plane to fit or uh, to be the same size as our object and I guess we can also move this down a bit And you can grab this loop, push it forward a bit. And now we can fix a few issues we have here. So maybe we subdivide this edge and uh, join this with that and uh, maybe Uh, let's go to front view. Let's 
so we can complete uh, this edge loop like that so that is just going through like and then dissolve this vertex and uh, we can also just merge this with that and we merge them in the center like that and uh, if we turn on subsurf uh, we can come in maybe add a loop a supporting loop uh, to make this sharp and I uh, use an uh, bevel weight for this area that is sharp uh, so we just need to delete this side and then turn on uh, the mirror modifier again mirror It has to be below the bevel. Maybe you can delete this vertex. I make sure it has clipping turned on, and I select this loop and try to move it over to the other side, so that we can remove any vertices that are not joining. We see that's what we have and we can select this slope and maybe push it up a bit like that So this ring here, I will use a loop that goes, uh, this loop here. Uh, so let's see. Now we have an issue here. Uh, let's see. Turn off mirror, subdivisions. Uh, let's see. Okay, there is a vertex going out. Can remove that. Uh, this is what we have so far. What else do we need now? Let's add this here. So we just need to select this loop. Then extrude down to around there. I th think we need to apply the mirror modifier or we can select these two. Shift S cursor, modif <coughs> cursor to selected and then use that as the pivot point. So if you uh, press your full stop on the keyboard you can use that as your pivot point and now if we extrude extrude that in like that then extrude again in the z-axis now let me see do I have an image for this for this thing here uh, let me see what reference image Let's see, we have that. Oh, we can come back and do that later, but uh, now we can add, oh, we can select this loop here, make turn off subsurf, and maybe turn off bevel for a second. A uh, control B to bevel this edge loop. And remove the vertex then extrude along the normals so we can just use this extrude along normals push it in like that i don't know if this is that big uh, this gap is that big so we can uh, scale this down uh, make sure you have this to median point the castle are uh, the pivot point to median point now if we bring this back see so we have that uh, so we can also make this more sharp by giving them a bit of weight like that and now we can also add another supporting loop around there let's see it's not too sharp 
uh, that's why I'm not adding too many loops, supporting loops. So we have something like that. I think uh, we have, let's, let, let me first turn off these modifiers for a second. You see this, this here, this loop here is supposed to be sharp and uh, this loop here is also supposed to be sharp. So we need maybe to join this with this and uh, select those loops. And um, I think another loop that goes around like that. Now this here as well, and this control E bevel weight, give them a bevel weight like that. And uh, if we turn on the bevel, you can see we have that. Uh, we need to fix a few issues here. So maybe this also needs to be, to have a bevel weight like that. And uh, uh, this here, needs to continue as a loop like that. So we need to dissolve this edge loop. So this can continue as a bevel. Something like that. And maybe can push this just like that so that we have that bend there. I think we also might need Uh, to bring uh, this loop tighter, to make this tighter here, uh, so that this area is a bit sharp. You can go to front view and make sure this is still a straight line like that. Uh, then I don't think we need this loop here, so we can dissolve that, uh, dissolve that vertex as well. can bring that let's not dissolve let's remove the bevel weight on this you can see it's becoming sharper there as we want uh, but uh, we are running into this issue here because uh, this bevel weight is not comp is not uh, it's just ending there. So to fix that, we can just uh, make maintain that as a bevel weight all the way throughout the throughout the loop. So this is end of part four, and next part we also be adding more details. Thank you.